Welcome to another week of Live at the Pen. This is Lorraine. That's Leah. And today we're going to talk about the new look for Round Peg. Yeah, so if you've noticed, especially on our Facebook, we are starting to incorporate more photography back into the branding, as well as going back to um, th well, thinking about our name and that we're Round Peg and we don't quite fit in the square hole food strategy, the way we treat our clients. So wanting to visually represent that. So if you've been paying attention, you may have noticed um, several things. Number one, a lot more black and white photography, which is kind of different for us. Yeah, and, you know, and also, well, we're getting to be a mature brand. Mm -hmm. 17 years? 17, 17 years. Mm -hmm. So having that, up, um, you know, through stuff, uh, you know, black and white photography is classy, but finding a way to keep it playful and warm and welcoming. Absolutely. And so you've also probably noticed, as Tilly is talking about kind of that out of the box, if you look at our um, cover image on Facebook and some of our individual profiles on Instagram, you'll notice that we are jumping out of boxes. Yes, literally. <laughs> <laughs> you've also done some other things. I mean, it's still round pack. It's still blue and teal and teal and blue. But there's, with the black and white, there's definitely a little bit more of that maturity coming yeah, through. Yeah, and modernizing it too, and we're changing over some fonts, which some of you may may not notice, it's a subtle change, but keeping with our, in our branding. Well, and, okay, so if there are any font geeks out there, go and read my blog post. I think it was last week where I talk about kind of the evolution of the round peg font and how we got to where we are and, and why I'm passionate about that curly G. Keeping it brand. Keeping on brand. So what other changes are you making with the branding that keeps us in the family but also gives us a little bit of a fresh look? Well, definitely white space, adding back in white space. And we, we may see some major changes to the website within a few months. <laughs> we, we'll have to see. But so keeping that, um, you know, just making sure we're on grid when we need to be on grid and breaking out of that box when we, when we can. You know, that's one of the things about a brand is that brands evolve, just like companies change and people change, and you don't want to do a dramatic, I mean, we're not going to be purple and green anytime yeah. soon. We are teal and blue, and we have a certain look and feel, but there's a really fine line where you can change and shift your styling and still feel just like you. Yeah, exactly. Maybe a little more teal in our future? Perhaps. Perhaps. And I know I made a face, but you know, we've had the same web layout for a couple of years, and just like we tell our clients, you gotta revisit that. You gotta mm -hmm. keep fresh, and um, so there'll be some changes there too. If you're curious, go back and look at some of our old graphics and then start looking at some of the things you're seeing come through now and see if you notice the changes. And if you'd like some changes on your branding, you know who to call. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time.